What's going on everybody? It's Go Karts Mini Bugs and More and today I'm going to show you how to oil a clutch. Um, this can be for uh, 420s, 212s, 670s. Uh, the clutch is basically the same. So the stuff you're going to need is some oil and not just any old motor oil. Uh, use 10W30 because if you use anything else it'll be too thin and everything. So use 10W30 and Sorry, the video isn't the best. I don't have my lens on because I wanted to just make this video in a pinch. Now you're also going to need something to put the oil in just to suck it up. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. And then um, you just pour the oil in. And it's nice to have a syringe. I have it wrapped in paper towel. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get them both. But I have a syringe. And this comes in handy for getting behind where you need to, which is right there, right behind the washer, right where the white tip is. Um, because that's where the bushing is, the little brass bushing or whatever it's made out of. And um, that needs to be lubed up because if not, you'll have premature wear on your clutch. They, I've read a few forms and they recommend that you do the oiling when the clutch is warm. So I just got done riding this. And by the way, I almost killed myself. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a bumpy driveway and I hit a bump and the whole go-kart went in the air. It was not fun, did not feel good. So without further ado, let's get this clutch oiling video how-to on the road. Now, if it's hard to tell on video, I have this cap full of oil. You do not need this much. Uh, I think they recommend only doing like two or three drops, but um, as you guys know, I'm excessive over about everything. I use a half tube of Loctite on one bolt. Um, it's really bad, but it's just me. So, as you can see, my syringe is broken. That rubber piece will not stay on. So I might just have to go the traditional way and just dump this on that bushing, but we'll see. The, if you guys use a syringe, just wet the end of it with the oil just so that rubber piece doesn't break. That's why mine is broken because I didn't oil it and it got ripped when it was sliding down the tube. So that's a good tip, but you don't need a syringe. And if you could have also noticed, I have a microfiber rag. You could use a towel, paper towel brown paper, doesn't matter. Just make sure you have something down because this does drip everywhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump this on. It's hard to do on camera, like I said, without my lens. But basically you just dump the oil on there and you'll see it seep through. I'm trying to get this on video. You'll just see it seep through, as you can see. But a lot does leak down, but that's okay. Um, you just want the bushing in there oiled. Just let that sit in there for a second and then oil again. Like I said, you don't need to be too excessive about it, but I am. And now, whenever you oil a clutch, it's a good time to oil your chain. But this chain's fairly new, so I'm not gonna bother oiling it right now. I will definitely shortly down the road because where I live, it's super dusty, especially in my backyard where I do all my drifting. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I guess throw this syringe out because it's no good to me anymore but you don't need a syringe um, I you could just dump it on from a cap or straight from the bottle it doesn't really matter just as long as the oil gets into that bushing oh I dropped it <laughs> all right that's that's not a problem I'm just gonna fill up the cap again and keep oiling but you guys get the idea um, that's how you oil a clutch. Super easy, super simple. It'll help you prolong the life of your clutch. And I mean, they're not that expensive, but why buy a new one if you don't have to? Just oil your clutches. Hope this helped. Check me out on Garage Mino at Go Karts Mini Bikes and more. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Take care.